So previously on Idol Champions Presents, what has occurred? In the first episode, our heroes arrived in Echo Bay for the Fleet's Wake celebration, uh, having been invited by their friend Freely, the lucky halfling. I know you said very plush, but in my mind, Baylos got a flying shag carpet down <laughs> <laughs> to relax enjoy have a silky smooth and uneventful weekend even though they knew every time they got together trouble seemed to kick in and they found out that there was not only a missing ship called the muskrat but several ships had gone missing and several people had gone missing and there was odd occurrences like very strong swimmers um drowning in what should have otherwise been calm seas did the wear shark bite him is he infected is he gonna turn is he gonna turn he's gonna turn i want to see him turn turn do it do it I'd really like to get in on that shark bandwagon. Those guys have their own week. Uh, they went to the Echo Bay crab fighting arena where giant crabs do battle and you place money where um, Chestnut and uh, Old Brown, I think were the names of the crabs, uh, were doing battle. And in the midst of the conflict, they were attacked by a, swa uh, by a flock of abyssal geese, which everyone knows geese are already evil. So abyssal geese are more <laughs> evil. Uh, it quickly became clear to everyone that uh, something strange was afoot in Echo Bay. And they found out that a cultist of Umberly, the Way Mother, had moved into town and probably had no good intentions for anyone there. They met these cultists and did battle with them. And in the process of two of their friends were kidnapped by the self-same cultists and taken away. Our heroes had to pursue them through a twisting, turning sequence of events that you should watch the show to find out what it was. Thanks to you, the viewers of Idol Champions. You all voted they would be cursed to talk in rhymes. Next time it appears, I'm going to strike it and leave a smear. <laughs> Bubbles sought to give us piratical enhancement, but it instead has placed us under a ship. And it led them down into a hidden cave underneath Echo Bay of a long abandoned pirate cove where they found the muskrat uh, that was there, and it was surrounded by ghosts, the ghosts of the crew, and also um, strange creatures that were dedicated to Umberly that fought to try and prevent them from going on board. When they got there, the head cultist, a woman by the name of Matron Hoistsail, was in the last finishing moments of a summoning ritual that was going to bring an avatar of Umberly forward that would allow her to rule the Sword Coast for years to come. She attempted to release the Kraken. But our heroes did battle bravely against them with the assistance of some friends and some solids that they'd called in. Bayloth the Entertainer had some drow friends in the area that uh, leapt into battle to assist them. And at the end of the day, our heroes were victorious and the day and the town and the coast were saved.